uh, this concept boolean data type okay see using boolean data type we can store either true or false value this is not zero and one remember that if you are from c c++ background most probably you are aware of that uh, there is a type called bool using which you can store zero or one value whereas in java they wanted to keep the language very very simple so what they have done so they found two literals that is true or false so for example so I have one file here called boolean test.java. So I written this program here. Boolean flag equal to true. So if I print flag like this, I will see the output as true. Same way, boolean is single equal to false. Either I can assign true or false value. Ready for marriage? False. Boolean Rahul Gandhi has got brain. That is false. And Boolean is benign over God superpower. True. I have that superpower. Mind it. So now uh, let me compile and execute this program. I'll say Java C Boolean test. Java and Java Boolean test. So you can see that. This is true, false, 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 and true. So write this program and execute. So there's nothing much about Boolean, but there's one more thing you need to be aware of. Uh, that is, what is the size of Boolean variable in Java? We learned that character two bytes, byte two bytes, and short is uh, four bytes. So like this, uh, the next thing is double of previous one. Whereas when it comes to Boolean, uh, there is no fixed size as such. It depends on the Java virtual machine. And again, the machine, it depends on the machine itself, the hardware even. Uh, so there is some more information. I found it on uh, this. That is a stack overflow question. So you can read this answer, some comments here. But this answer I liked most, so I upvoted also. And maybe uh, if not now in future, you would come back to this and uh, see what's happening here. Once you learn more concepts, then you'll be able to understand the code is written here. But this code is phenomenal. So whoever has written it, he has done an amazing work. Okay. This is also an what example for like a memory benchmarking. Suppose in future, if you want to know how much memory is consumed by what, okay, you can actually what rely on this code. Fine. See you in the next video.